Morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word today. This prophetic word, before we begin by talking about the references, is for someone who is drawn away by the way someone speaks, but are, that but are distracted by the way that they speak and not paying attention to what they do with what they say. What they say does not much match up with, according to God's will, with what they do. Let's look at uh, that today. Leviticus 11.6 and then Galatians 6.4 and then Revelation 4.1. We're going to look at that. We're going to show why or how this individual, the listener to this video, got caught up in that. And we're going to show, the Bible is going to show, the, word, the Spirit of God is going to show what happens when we recognize those things are happening and begin to go in the direction God wants us to go. So Leviticus 11.6, Galatians 6.4, and then Revelation 4.1 are the references today. Let's begin in Leviticus 11.6. The hair, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. Now the Lord, through Moses, is listing a few animals here that are considered unclean by God so that the people of Israel would not eat something and get sick. Basically, God is protecting them. And so he's showing the unacceptable animals that the children of Israel are not to touch their carcass if they die or even eat them. The hair is one of those examples. It it, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. Now, of course, I had to wait for the Lord to explain that to me, to show me what he wants to say here. And basically, as I said at the beginning of this video, the Lord is saying that this is an example of someone who knows how to talk the talk, but does not know how to walk the walk. This is someone... The listener of this video is just settling with in their life. And God is saying, you are just settling with half of my will for you. But I want you to accept and I want you to obey all of my will in this situation that you're going through. You're accepting half of it. You're not accepting all of it. If you will accept all. All of my will concerning this situation. Watch what I do. And God will show us here in this prophetic word. The hair, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. You're a person that accepts in your life that which chews the cud, but also does not have, unclean, have cloven hooves. That's unacceptable to God. You're accepting it, but God is saying, that's not what I want for you. You're settling with something or someone that is, that is choo choose the cud, but doesn't have cloven hooves. It's not my will. You're choosing and you're settling with something that's not my will. Galatians 6, 4 goes on to share how the person of this video is listening to this video, how you brought yourself to that place. It says Galatians 6, 4 says, but let one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. What brought you to the place of settling is that you thought your happiness would be based on you living vicariously through another. And Galatians 6, 4 tells you not to do that. But let one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing or be happy or content in himself alone and not in another. What causes you to settle or what causes us to settle in our lives is when we are tempted to live vicariously through another person. God wants us to live through him. He does not want us to live through other people. He wants us to hear his voice and him know we know him and we follow him. He said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. That's living towards God. When we settle, we begin to 
live vicariously through another person. We're settling, and it's it's an unacceptable place to God. He considers it actually unclean. It's unacceptable. But if we understand that we are doing this, and we begin to live through the word and leading of the Holy Spirit, of, of God himself, then look what Revelation 4 says, what will happen. It says, after these things, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. You are thinking that living or, or settling and living vicariously through someone else will open doors for you. And God is saying, if you will listen to what I'm telling you, then a door will stand open for you. The exact door that you need to stand open, not just open quickly, but wait for you to walk through it. That's God's kind of door that stands open. After these things, after you realize what you're doing, after you realize that you're settling and you're living vicariously through someone else, after these things, I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, come up here and I will show you things which must take place after this. God bless you. Have a great day.